What's up everybody, Troy Nicole here. Today, I want to talk about canvas prints. First of all, you wanna choose a print company that you trust. Costco's are all around and they actually make pretty good prints. I do all my prints through Canvas On Demand. Canvas On Demand is a very intuitive website with a lot of great options you can build out your canvas. So what I recommend if you're gonna print a canvas, whether you're going through Canvas On Demand, Costco, or any other canvas printing company, is to do one test run. Some things to look for is first and foremost to make sure that the fidelity of the image that you're getting in the canvas stays true to the actual image that you uh, created. You have to pay particularly close attention to the shadows and the dark areas of the image. A lot of prints um, will kind of crush those blacks so you're not getting a nice gradient. This also applies to the highlights. The next thing to look for is how do you want the image to wrap? Now what I found is there are three options that you can choose for your image wrap. First of all, you can um, do a image continuation, meaning that it will basically replicate the last uh, bit of the image and kind of just wrap that around. Um, number two, is it will actually take the image and crop it so that um, the last couple inches wrap around it. But I don't particularly like that because it changes the composition of the image. And then the third option, which is what I like to go with, um, is actually an image blur. And what it does is it takes the colors on the outside of the image that you created and essentially blurs those into um, a continuation of the image but I like that because it maintains the aspect ratio and composition of the original image better than the other options. Now another and extremely important thing to consider is the price. Make sure you're not overpaying, especially for a not high quality print. A high quality print of something that is about 20 by 40 should cost you no more than 150, maybe $160. Um, and as you decrease the size of your canvas, of course, the prices will decrease. So make sure you're not spending something like three, $400 for a 20 by 40 print. A very important thing to consider is print size. Now, if you're doing this for a client, um, you wanna make sure that there is an understanding between you two on the print size. Um, and also you wanna make sure that your image itself is, is gonna maintain its quality and fidelity to be blown up to a certain size. I personally don't like to go much larger than the actual image size. And uh, when you're in Photoshop or whatever editor you're using, you can easily find out um, in inches what your picture is translates to if you wanna do a canvas print. The reason that I don't go too much larger than uh, what what the actual image size is, is because what you start introducing is interpolation. And a lot of times that works out well. Um, you can probably blow it up by 50% without noticing too much interpolation. Now there's a couple different options for selling canvas prints. First of all, sell them to family and friends. Um, a lot of times people will want that. They'll want that in their office or their home and people will pay for that if they love your work. If you're feeling ambitious, you can sell on the street. You can go to a flea market or some sort of event uh, barring that you have a selling license. And a way that I've found um, can potentially give you the most exposure and will be the easiest is if you can display your work in a coffee shop. Go to your local mom and pop coffee shops to see if they're willing to display your work. A lot of times they'll let you display it for free. They won't ask for any commission on anything you sell and you'll get great exposure because your prints will be up there for at least a month. Finally, what you can do is you can attempt, um, it's no guarantee, but attempt to get your work in an exhibit. And that's a great way, especially if you have high quality prints, people will really, really notice your work. And because you're in a gallery, um, which takes a lot of work, uh, people will respect your work. So I think that's probably later on like a final stage, but first try to sell to family, friends, and people around, and then get in a coffee shop. Guys, I hope this was an informative video um, for the process of selling and creating canvas prints. Um, hopefully you can take your first steps towards, at the very least, printing something. So until next time, I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.